God. Amen. Amen. Woo! Somebody say, woo! Woo! Ain't God good? Yes. so 
nigh unto them, as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. And as I was reading this today, thinking back upon how God was bringing me out of situations, he was letting me know that now that he has brought me out, he said to remember to do these things <coughs> which I teach you for to do them, that ye may live and go in and possess the land mm -hmm. which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. You see, God had given us all kinds of blessings. Yes. But he wants us to be obedient. Yes. Yes. And in order for us to possess these blessings mm -hmm. that God has in store for us, we must learn how to be obedient. Amen. You know, I, I teach this a lot about obedience, but I want to take you back to the children of Israel and show you how that God blessed them when they were going through trials and tribulations. Amen. And being that they were going through trials and tribulations, we are in the same position today Amen. Amen. as the children were in the day. Amen. We are in that same position. So, in, in other words, your life in Christ, yes. amen, had a beginning. Uh -huh. Am I right? Amen. amen. And then after uh, you began your life with Christ, uh, there was things that, that the Lord took you through. Mm -hmm. And then he brought, was bringing you out. And that's why we want to go all the way back to what we've been teaching for the last uh, two or three weeks about... Uh, Life's journey, we've been talking about uh, the things that the children of Israel went through when they exited out of Exodus and began their journey yes. to get to the promised land. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Amen. And so we have here tonight, our subject tonight is the summary of life's journey. Mm. A summary of life's journey. Mm -hmm. And as I talk about this, I want you to see yourself. Yes. I want to, you to see your life and your journey in Christ. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh, you, see, you see, God put you on this earth, but he put you on this earth not to do your will, but to do his will. Amen. And when you make a decision to do his will, then there is things that he expects you to do, and there's, there's things he expects you to follow. Amen. Am I right about Amen. that? Amen. 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 And the children of Israel was in bondage. Now, you, you, you all know, we've been talking about this, you were in bondage before you got saved. Yeah. Huh? I said you were in bondage. Now if you're still in bondage, then there's something wrong. You need to get back to the altar because, you know, you should not still be in bondage if you're being obedient unto the Most High God. Huh? The children of Israel was in in. in in terrible bondage down there in Egypt land. And you all know the story. We've been talking about it the last few weeks. Amen. And God sent a deliverer down to deliver them, Moses, the deliverer, to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians so that they could go and worship the Lord and serve the Lord in holiness. Amen. You were in bondage. Mm -hmm. You were in bondage to all kinds of sin. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. I know. I was too. Amen. <laughs> we were in so much bondage that we could not yes. function mm -hmm. the way that God would have us to function. Amen. 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 We were, we were uh, uh, caught up in situations mm -hmm. that had us so bound that we, we constantly prayed to God to get us out. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Just like the children of Israel was praying that God would deliver them out of Egypt. We were praying, God help me, God deliver me from this situation. And, and, and I know that all of us probably have had different situations. Some of us have had the same situations. Mm -hmm. But whatever those situations were, we had to ask God to deliver us. Amen. Yes. So we pray to God for deliverance. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God sent us a deliverer. Yeah. And now the children of Israel, God sent them Moses to deliver them out of bondage. God sent us Jesus to deliver. 
deliver us out of bondage. Somebody ought to say amen. Somebody ought to say amen. It's by calling on the name of Jesus to deliver you out of a situation that gets you delivered. Somebody say amen. So this is a summary of your life's journey. Now you know that the children of Israel, as they traveled, they traveled and they went through different difficulties and different problems and different situations. All of those little ites, as we talked about, amen, the Hittites, the Hivites, the Amorites, that were a people that they had to fight in order to get through to continue on their journey. You got to fight those ites today. Amen. You got some Hittites in your life. Huh? Yeah. 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 You got some Amorites in your life yeah. today. You got some Hivites in your life. Amen. Right. Right. You got some things in your yeah. life that won't let you pass, that will not let yeah. you keep yeah. going to yeah. get the good yeah. things of God. You got some things in your life. Uh, thank you, Jesus. And you'll never get by them unless you let God yeah. help you. Hallelujah. Get over there. Hallelujah. Unless you cry out to Jesus for a delivering God. Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. 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 You, uh, you, you, your Hivites may not be my Hivites, but they're Hivites anyway. Your Amorites may be a different kind of Amorites. It's still. In other words, let me make it a little bit more plain. Amen. I call it Hivites and Hivites and all that because these were the people that the children of Israel had to pass by in order to get to the promised land. Amen. They had to go through this. You know, God took them through. Amen. And he would deliver each one of them as they went through. He, they prayed. Amen. And Moses led them. Amen. And they got through all of these difficult situations and difficult people. Some of those people and some of those tribes, some of them were more powerful than the children of Israel. They were bigger than the children of Israel. And there was no way that they could have defeated them without the Lord. Amen. Amen. Some of your mountains in your way. <laughs> some of them Hivites in your way. Some of them Amorites in your way. Amen. It's bigger than you. And you can't get over it by yourself. But if you call out to a most high God, he will. Somebody say he will. He will. He will. Looking at our lives as a journey. You're on a journey. Whether you know it or not, you're on a journey. Amen. You were not designed to stay here forever. Amen. Amen. But God put you here and allowed you to go on the journey. And just as the children of Israel got delivered, you got delivered. As the children of Israel got saved from their enemies, you got saved. Glory be to God. As the children of Israel came into the promised land, you come into the promised land. Amen. See, the promised land is where all good things are. Listen, church, I mean, where all good things are. You don't have to, if you are in God, you don't have to beg, you don't have to borrow, you don't have to steal. God will provide. Are you listening to me? I said God will provide. Amen. Huh? Amen. Children of Israel got cried out to God. God delivered. Amen. And God set them free. Amen. Amen. And God, God watched over. They was crying out. They, 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 there's times they didn't have the food they wanted. There was times they didn't have water to drink. There was on this journey, on this journey, there was times when they just they couldn't go buy nothing because they didn't they didn't have what we have today as far as jobs is concerned. And some of us they got no job, amen. And and, and so there's times that we are in need of food. There's times we are in need of shelter. There's times that we are in need of all the things. And God began to show Moses how to take care of the children of Israel as they journeyed. How many of you know that Christ takes care of us today? 
as we journey. Every day with Jesus. Amen. Get sweeter than the day before. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I said every day with Jesus. Every day you get up in the morning and you asking God for something. Jesus is already trying, uh, preparing and making, making it available for you. Amen. To have what you need. I'm not saying he going to supply all of your wants, but he know what you need. Amen. Some of us want things that we shouldn't want. Amen. Or that God is not ready to give us. Amen. Children of Israel wanted meat. God wasn't ready to give them meat. He was supplying them with spiritual food. He was preparing them. God is preparing you. Amen. As you go through this journey with the word of God, God is preparing you with his word. That's your food. Amen. 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 With the children of Israel, they called it manna. It was called manna. Amen. 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 It was food. The word of God is your food today. Somebody say amen. amen. Every jot, every line, and every tittle is your word today. And that is your food. Amen. And as you're going through, he wants you to live. He said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. That's what you should live by. Huh? You don't live by bread alone. Amen? But so many of us, amen, that, that's all we can see. And that's all we understand is I ain't got no food in the cupboard. I ain't got this and I ain't got that. But yet and still, God keeps you eating. Amen. Huh? Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Sometimes we get through it just like the children of Israel. We get just like the children of Israel. And we say, we, we sick of this manner. Some of y'all some might be saying, I'm sick of this food that I'm mean, having to eat all the time. I want me some steak. I want me this. I want me that. Children of Israel start complaining and start talking about they wanted them some, 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 some meat. So what did God do? Amen. God said, okay, if that's what you want, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you some quail. And he said, oh, he said so much quail that they got so sick of looking at quail. You know, sometimes you get what you ask for. Amen. And then after you get it, you realize maybe you really didn't want it. Huh? Maybe, maybe you really did. I, maybe I thought I wanted some, but not this much. Huh? Amen. Amen. But all along the journey, there was a journey they were on to get to the promised land. Uh -huh. You are on a journey. Yes, yes. You're on the journey. This life is a journey yes, yes. to get to a better place in God. Yes. Amen. You know, you, you done got tired of the devil whooping you upside the head, upside the head and down the other. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So you are on a journey. So you said, Lord, I don't understand. I know I wasn't made to, 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 to suffer all these things like this. And, and, and I know there's got to be a better way. And so you came to Jesus and you said, Jesus, I need you to deliver me and set me free from these bondages that I'm in. Yeah. But Jesus said, okay, are you ready to serve me? Are you ready to serve me? Amen. And you said yes to the Lord. Yes, yes. And when you said yes to the Lord, then the Lord not only delivered you, but he saved you, he saved your soul. Amen. Ain't that right? Amen. He saved your soul. Amen. And now that you are saved, amen, you are on this journey. Amen. You're on this journey yes. because there's a better place in God. Amen. I said there's a better place Amen. in God. Amen. You'll never get to that better place until you get on this journey. The children of Israel could have never gotten into going to the promised land until they got delivered from the enemy, Amen, which was in Egypt land, and then got saved, Amen, and then, oh glory, and then got baptized as they went through the River Jordan. Are y'all at the Red Sea? They got baptized. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Then they were on their way. When they got on the other side, they were on their way. Amen. They were out running the devil. 
How many of y'all been out running the devil? Amen. You could have never outran the devil if it had not been for God sending you a deliverance. Amen. Jesus was your deliverance. And Jesus kicked Satan in the chins and told him to go sit out somewhere and leave his people alone and gave you a chance to go through the Red Sea. Yes. 
and say, God, I'm sorry for my yes, sin. Yes. How many know Jesus is faithful yes. and he's just yes. to forgive you yes. of all unrighteousness. Yes. And you can start all over again, all over again on this life's journey. Yes. Amen. I don't know about you, but I fell away. Amen. I had fallen away. But then, what, age 33 years old, amen, God began to deal with me, began to show me how that I was away from him, amen. And so once I repented of my sins and I got back on the right road, amen, I began to follow, amen, in the footsteps of Jesus, amen. And I have been on this journey ever since. I don't intend to go back. Amen. I said I don't intend yeah. to go back. Yeah. How many in here tonight don't intend to go yeah. back? Yeah. Let me see you right here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The journey is to travel from one place to another. Children of Israel was traveling. Mm -hmm. They was traveling from one place to another. And the place they were trying to get to was the land that God had promised them. I don't know about you, but that's about that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to that good place yes. in God, where it is, where there's all good things. Good things. Amen. 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 Where God is there. Amen. And every time I every time I work, I work to to even prick my little finger. I know that God will heal it. Yeah. If I were, if I, whatever happened, I want to get to that place where I have so much trust and so much love for God, amen, that I know that everything that I need is going to be provided. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. I'm trusting him every day. I trust him for my life. I trust him for my home. I trust him for my children. I trust him for my husband. I trust him for everything that I have. Amen. I don't know how I'm going to do some certain things. I ain't worried about it. I'm just calling on the Lord to make a way because I know he don't want me to be sad. I, oh, I, I know that he don't want me to be upset. I know that he wants me to have. Hallelujah. And I know he will provide. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I said, it may not come when you want it, but it's always on time. I said, it may not come when you want it, but it's always on time. How many know it's always on time? Sometimes we want it before God's ready to give it to us. Amen. We pray the day we want it today. Huh? One day is as a thousand years with the Lord. Amen. 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 You might have prayed about something several years ago and you still ain't got it. Let me, let me tell you something. That, that, there's still one day with the Lord. Yes, yes. Your year is not the same, same as God's years. Uh -huh. Am I not right about it? Amen. Yes. One, one day is as a thousand years with the Lord. That's a, that's a lot, lot of days. Ain't, they, ain't, that, ain't that right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so what we do is we keep asking. We keep asking. Amen. But don't turn to another source. Uh -huh. You see, a lot of times what we do is we pray and we ask God for something. And then after we ask him for it and he don't give it to us right away, we start thinking in our mind. Mm. Let's see. Now if I do this and if I do that, maybe this will work. And we keep on and keep on, and then all of a sudden God will let us have it. Thank you, Jesus. And then we find out, well, maybe I wasn't ready for that. Yeah. Are you listening? How many have been there? Amen. Huh? Yes. Amen. So we have to wait upon God. Learn to wait upon God, church. Amen. You you're not going hungry. You're not going barefooted. Amen. You're not going without clothes. Amen. Amen. You're not going without your necessities of this life. Right. And some of the things you want are not necessities. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? But they're things that you that you want. Amen. Amen. And that's the reason why you have not received them. Because, amen, God is not ready for you to receive them. Amen. You have not gotten to a time in your life. Where you're ready to deal with whatever blessing you're asking for God. 
He wants you to receive from him. And he wants to bless you. But he wants to bless you his way. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. As they traveled a journey, they encountered different obstacles mm -hmm. in their path. We encounter difficulties in life, and they become obstacles or burdens in our path as we strive to get to that good place in God. As they traveled, they encountered different things that would, would hold them back if it wasn't for God delivering them through them. Mm -hmm. We today, as we travel this life, amen, we have all kinds of difficulties and all kinds of things that stand in our way of being able to progress, amen. amen. But God is able to move those obstacles out of your way if you are willing to give them to him. Somebody say amen. 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 As long as they were obedient to God, he delivered them out of them all. God will deliver and move all obstacles in our path if we be obedient. And how many understand obedience? Do you understand obedience? Amen. Obedience is according to the word of God. If it don't say it in the word of God, mm -hmm. it ain't God. Amen. There is nothing that is not written down in the, in the word of God that will keep you from making heaven your heart. Everything that you need, let me put it this way, everything you need is in that book. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm always trying to tell you, amen, keep your book. If you run up on an obstacle, a mountain that's too high for you to climb, pressures in life, all different kinds of things that the devil will put in your way. Find it in the word of God. You might not find that exact word, but you will find something that is similar that the children of Israel and the people of God have gone through and how God delivered them out of it. If you'll read your book. See, so many of us, we, we depend. See, a lot of them depended on Moses. If Moses didn't tell them certain things, then they went off on their own. And, 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 and as we got on down further, and Moses died, and Joshua took over, and, and a lot of them expected Joshua to make sure that they did right. He told them what was right. But they didn't, a lot of them didn't want to hear what Joshua said. Yeah. And then, then God sent, after Joshua died, God sent judges. He called judges, amen, to judge the people and to tell them what was right, to keep them on the right path. Today, God has preachers that teach you the word of God, to keep you on the right path, amen. But if you sit there and you listen and you don't really listen and you really don't hear and you don't get in your word, you can misunderstand and you can get on the wrong path. Amen. It is very important. Your Bible is your road map to glory. I said that a lot. Your Bible is not only your road map to glory, but your road map to the promised land, to that to the Can to Canaan land, to that good place in God. That's what your Bible is for. Amen. Then we must be obedient to what the word said. I said obedient to what the word said. Amen. That's the word of God. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Is it, are you getting this? Amen. I said, are you getting this? Amen. Hallelujah. As he supplied their needs and wants. He will also supply our needs. Yes, amen. This journey begins after deliverance, salvation, and baptism. Mm -hmm. This journey starts. Amen. Amen. And you know what? God has given us so, Jesus has given us grace 
to be able to start this journey. Mm -hmm. And I, and I shouldn't say when we get ready, but it seems like a lot of us wait till we think we're ready. Yeah. But church, I'm telling you, when the Holy Spirit begins to draw you, start this journey. Amen. Start this journey Amen. to living right with Christ. Amen? Amen. I thank God for each and every one of you that are here tonight. I thank God for, for what He is doing in your Amen. life. Thank you, Lord. Man, I thank God for how He... How he has touched you. I have seen growth. I said, I have seen growth. Amen. I said, I have seen growth. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And each and every one of you that is here. Amen. I've seen how God has taken you from one place to another. Amen. He's taken you from glory to glory Amen. to glory. Amen. Amen. He wants to continue to take you from glory to glory to glory. Amen. 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 Don't be upset if you don't you don't feel it. Just 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 get more in him. Get closer in him. Amen. Get closer in him. Amen. Begin to seek him more. Seek his face more. You know, a lot of times God will, and I gotta tell you this, a lot of times God will withhold things from you. In order for you to seek him. That's right. You see, we, we, we get to a point where we get complacent in God. We think, well, this, this is it. This is it. We got it. This is it. Oh, church, this is, a, this is a growing way. You don't never get where you got it. You've got to continue to keep on growing in God, growing in God. And every time I get to a place where I think I know, or to a place where I think everything is okay, amen, then I get to a place where I don't hear God. And that is God telling me, amen, to get down on my knees and start seeking my faith. You got to seek God's face. You got to turn from the things of this world and get down. You know, in the Bible, the, the, the patriarchs of old, you know what they did? The Bible said they prayed in sackcloth and ashes. They got down on their face before God. Amen. Yeah. And they prayed Amen. and they sought God until they got answers. Mm -hmm. That's what God wants the church to do. The church has gotten so complacent. Yes. Yeah. I'm so I'm so glad y'all were on y'all's feet. Amen. Praising and magnifying God tonight as we were singing praises mm -hmm. unto God. I'm so glad, hallelujah, that, amen, that you were letting the Spirit of God move you. Amen. 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 We cannot be complacent in God. Amen. When the Spirit of God comes upon you, you got to move, church. You got to move. Amen. Oh, dear God. Amen. I don't, I don't know what, what you might have had, but do you do you realize that whenever you know you're going through a, 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 a something in your life, Amen, and you come to church, Amen, and you get start praising God, don't you realize there's a release? Amen. I said there's a release. There's a release of those burdens that's got you bound. You feel good. You feel better when you leave here. Somebody say it. I don't know what each one of you had tonight, but I know that you came to church willing to praise God. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Because it's been a long week. Hallelujah. And the devil is constantly on the trail. Somebody say it. Amen. Amen. I said the devil is constantly Amen. on the trail. And some of you said, look at me like, not me, Sister Marla, not me. <laughs> oh, yes. Listen, I'm going to tell you, he on your trail. I don't care whether you admit it or not. He's trying to find an entrance. An entrance. E-N-T-L-A-N-C-E. Entrance into your life somewhere. And if you give him an inch, he'll take a mile. Are oh, y'all hearing what I'm saying to you? Oh, this road we travel, this journey, amen, it can be a glorious journey, amen. All you got to do is remember that Jesus 
is Lord. Yes. Yes. And all you got to remember that every burden, yes. every trial, yes. every tribulation, everything, amen, yes. that comes your way, amen, that is not like God, amen, give it to Jesus. Yes. Amen. Give it to Jesus. Yes. And watch and let Jesus work it out in your life. I said, let oh, Jesus yeah. work it out in your life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Give the Lord some praise. Amen. 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 Summary of life's journey. You're still on this journey. As long as you got breath in your body, Amen. you're still on a journey. Amen. You're still on this journey. Amen. This, how many of you know that this journey Amen. don't end until life stops? Um, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So church, don't get complacent. Don't stop along the way. Keep on moving in Jesus. Keep on moving in Jesus. Give the Lord some praise.